So if you watched my video a couple of weeks ago, you know that I'm trying to change up the way I make content and the way that I focus on certain things. I'm trying to move away from photography being the subject of this channel and photography turning it into photography being like the backdrop for this channel. And if you've been watching for a while, you'll also know that I'm a member of WeBlog North. I talk about them quite a bit, the great community that I'm part of. Well, today I was at one of their events. Uh, so I'm going to grab Holly and um, Kat talking about it from that video because they'll probably explain it better than I will. So this is Holly and Kat. So we've just finished our Kickstart Your Content Creation Seminar and we wanted to share a few takeaways and a few key points that we cover. So this is one of our most successful seminars because I think it's kind of what everybody in the content world wants to know. It's those first steps on your foray into creating content, whether that's for yourself, your social media, your blog, your video, or your business. Yeah. And we talk about finding your voice and knowing your audience and how to make sure your content reaches them, as well as kind of take home tips on planning yeah. and um, good practice. So with things like SEO, which is often the scary part of creating content. Um, yeah. Right down to branding. Yeah. It's a very beginner's friendly guide. Mm. Lots of time for Q&A and very much simple like take home tips. Can I, I just want to come around and pat you guys on the back now and just say that, um, <laughs> that you, got, you guys put together these things that are they're really successful in, in that they bring together people who I always really get on with and I I think everyone just always gets yeah. on with everyone else. Yeah. It's... And I don't know. Do you have any idea how you do that, or is that just is that just I've consistently? Got Go, Go on. on. I'm, I'm very woo woo, and I believe that what you put out into the world, yeah. you get back. Yeah. And I think because Holly's built this from a passion, from a genuine um, care and attention for other people and wanting to collaborate, wanting to meet other people who are like-minded. People can feel that. People can sense that energy and we do have like a very much positive vibes only yeah. um, theme throughout the group. Yeah. I think that really comes across. We, we don't have any dicks in the membership. <laughs> well, this is it. And I, that's, it's, that's how you mean that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Today. We do, yeah. <laughs> I think that's, it's so lovely to hear that and I think just sort of thinking about what you said there, I think maybe it's because I'm, we're both still members. You know, yeah. I'm still a member of this still community. Learning. It's still learning. I still get something out of absolutely everything we do and everybody we meet. And I think maybe that's kind of part of our USP maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But it's so good to hear because for me, it is the community aspect that's the most important first and foremost. And I think, you know, that's been growing for about four years and I think, it obviously shows because people are leaving with smiles on their faces and new friends. And yeah. That's I think when you give important. a shit and you give a shit about other people, like you'll get you'll get success back. in return yeah. in whatever the way that looks like. Cheers guys. It was a really it was a really good day. I always come away from these days with like with at least another friend or another you know, another couple of contacts. Yeah. So it's always That's always what it's well all about. Them. That's what it's thank all about. You. So thank you. This next section highlights the issue with not shooting in order it was the first bit that i shot which is why you're gonna have to ignore the intro to the video halfway through a video double intro but i really wanted to get andy on camera really interesting guy i really want to try and meet up with him again do more stuff with him talking about some some really interesting stuff and some really powerful stuff um so yeah next bit I've come to the WeBlog, um, WeBlog workshop, uh, it's on kickstarting your content and there's some great people here, I thought I'd just introduce you to a couple of them. This is Andy, do you want to introduce yourself properly? <laughs> Hi, so I'm Andy Elwood, I've just left the best job I ever had which was being a winchman paramedic on a search and rescue helicopter and I've come to a massive pivot point in my life and I'm going freelance, running my own company, doing some training and today I've just started my Andy's Landy blog which is about my 1973 Series 3 Land Rover and how I use it 
with my uh, to, to promote men's mental health and that it's okay to talk. I'm gonna have to connect with you a couple of times on this one because <laughs> that sounds that sounds amazing. Uh, and the the other thing that you mentioned before um, was the sort of invite a invite a man to to lunch thing. I think that's incredible. That oh that thank you. Just, yeah. just the idea that of like making it acceptable to to just say excuse me, you know, do you wanna go, do you wanna go grab something to eat and we'll, we'll make this kind of a, a thing? I think there's, there's something so powerful in that. Uh, yeah, men don't tend to do it. Like, yeah. women are really good at talking, yeah. talking about their feelings, emotions, men not so good. Um, so the idea of that uh, was it's a men do lunch day yeah. and invite a man you care about to lunch, ask him how he's doing, tell him how you're doing, talk about your feelings, emotions, that's normal, we're all human, we have yeah. issues. Getting them out there, you know, often is a massive help, feeling so much better. So I, I talking about issues has helped me three times in my career massively. Yeah. Um, and one of the reasons, one of those instances was when I had a flashback to a patient I had when I was a paramedic in the rescue helicopter in Afghanistan. Yeah. And a guy was trapped in a Land Rover after an IED attack. And I had a flashback five years later to that. And because I talked about it openly with my wife, and I had this flashback in, on holiday in the shower. And because um, I talked about it with my wife, I'm okay with it now. But right. I have that Land Rover, so there's, I'm not looking back, I'm looking forward, I'm dealing with it, I'm getting back on the horse and making it part of who I am rather than let it control me. So, Brilliant, yeah. thank you. <laughs> oh, another person that I've met today is Katie, and I'll let her introduce herself. Hi, I'm Katie, an interior designer and stylist at Magpie underscore interiors. Um, and I really enjoyed today. It was really great to meet loads of new people and hear about sort of their issues and my issues and talk them through about how to um, work social media in sort of a more interactive and positive way. And um, what I really found difficult was the real technical sides of things. Um, kind of, you know, what apps to use and all those sort of things to sort of refine the stuff that I'm already doing and make it better and make it, um, I don't know, just work better because, you know, I'm wasting time on things when actually I could be doing it in a better, just a better way. Yeah. <laughs> um, Another thing as well about content and how to organise my content, what I found was really useful was um, we were talking about uh, women, well, Women's Day, yeah. and um, how you know, get to the day and go, oh, it's oh, great. Yeah, it's, make it. it's, yeah, it's, it's you know, world's you know, world's Women Day or whatever, and you know, you don't have anything to talk about. Whereas if you know a couple of weeks in advance, it's something that you can tailor some more content around, be organised, be able to post something really relevant on the day. Yeah, we're giving away all the secrets today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I forgot it was the Chinese New Year parade today, so it's going to be the long way home. I don't think it's going to come. So I just wanted to sign off, but I wanted to say that this video was a little bit rushed. This was supposed to be Thursday's video, it's out on Sunday. I actually only conceived of the idea today because I was going to this event, I thought I'd try and get it edited. I guess this would, probably should have been next week's video. I also was trying out Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro 10 for the first time ever. And so, apologies for any audio and colour grading mishaps. Also, yeah, 
I've lost that um, the furry thing that goes on your microphone. So some of the audio is a bit windy. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really important to get out there. It was a great event today. Met some really great people. I'll try and link as many as I can in the description down below. I don't know if I have everyone's details yet, but I will add them as they become available to me. Um, just want to say thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. You can also hit that notification button and that will tell you as soon as I get a video out there. Also, it will inform you about my live streams, which I try to do every Tuesday evening, evening in the UK, so adjust for your part of the world. And um, yeah, maybe like this video, that would, that would be really nice. Cheers. See you later, guys.